hey everyone so here is a question for factorization so this is a question factorize the following polynomial so they have given two question the first and second one so we're going to start with the first one so we have to factorize this so let me take the first question so here we have 6p and then the bracket p minus 3 and then plus 1 and then p minus 3 now whenever they are saying factorize it means we have to write like something into something for example 6 if I'll take if I factorize this I'll get 2 into 3 okay so here also I have to factorize I have to write some product here some uh, uh, binomial or trinomial I can get anything here so if you observe here in this question you can see that p minus 3 and p minus 3 is common here yes apart from that nothing else is common so what I gonna do here I'll gonna take this p minus 3 common means I'm gonna pull out this p minus 3 outside so if I take p minus 3 from this uh, term what is left I'm taking this p minus 3 out so you can see that 6p is left so I'm gonna write here 6p Okay, and then I have a plus a light plus here from this term from the second term also if I pull out p minus 3 outside what is left 1 is left so plus 1 so that's it this is the answer here p minus 3 into 6p plus 1 like I told you factorize means something into something so we got p minus 3 into 6p plus 1 this is first question let's start solving the second one so let me write the question here so in the second one we have 14 into 3y minus 5z to the power 3 okay plus 7 into 3y minus 5z to the power 2 if you see here we have 14 this 14 can be written as 2 into 7 yes and again 3y minus 5z has a power 3 means this term is multiplied 3 times so for this question I'm going to explain I'm going to show you otherwise you can just uh, remove you can just skip this step actually but still I want to show you how we getting the answer so here 3y minus 5z I'm going to multiply this 3 times I'm just expanding it okay and then again multiplied by 3y minus 5z okay then plus 7 we cannot uh, no, expand it so I'm going to write down 7 only and then we have again 3y minus 5z to the power 2 means we are multiplying this 2 times so 3y minus 5z again into 3y minus 5z now we are going to pull out what is common here now if you observe here we have a 7 common yes we have a 7 here and then we have a 7 here I'm talking about this entire expression sorry not entire expression the entire term here on this side I have a 7 and here also I have a 7 so I'm gonna pull out 7 here okay so I'll get from this 7 so I can take one 7 out now what else is common if you see here I have 3y minus 5z here 3y minus 5z here this is 1 again I have 3y minus 5z again I have a 3y minus 5z only two times I'm getting I cannot take this 3y minus 5z because on this side I don't have a 3y minus 5z only two times I have so from here what I can write is 7 into 3y minus 5z I'm taking this two times right so I'm gonna write power 2 okay this one I'm not taking common out because this this 3y minus 5z extra is not present on the next term um, other side okay that's why so let's uh, write down what is left now so 7 minus 7 into 3y minus 5z square we have taken common we have to write what is left now so here this 2 is left so 2 into and this 3y minus 5z is also left so 3y minus 5z okay and then this side nothing else is left so I cannot write 0 here this I can write as plus 1 if I write 0 the entire this expression will become 0 okay it will not be 0 at least if I take common 1 will be present here now why 1 suppose I have a 2 into 3 or we can just say 2 into 3 or 2 into 3 into 1 it, the answer will always be 6 right so if you write 2 into 3 or 2 into 3 into 1 the answer will be 6 so here the one I'm gonna write down not zero remember that okay 
this I'm gonna solve further so from here I'll erase this part I'm writing this on a, on the top so this is 7 into 3y minus 5z square here multiply this 2 into 3y is 6y 6y minus multiply this 2 with 5z it will be 10z so 10z plus 1 so here we got 7 into 3y minus 5z square into 6y minus 10z plus 1 so you can see we got 7 into a term into a term so this is a factorization okay so that's it i hope it's clear now in case you have any question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching